For my biodiversity class, we were learning about the environment and then we went to the Tina Creek Conservancy and we got to look at everything and it was more interesting than just reading about it. I like reading, but I think that hands-on is better because it's more interesting and just, just more fun in general to go outside. When we do hands-on and we do labs and we record, I understand it more because I can really visualize it and like see what I'm actually doing and understand it. I'm using my senses to feel everything out, learning, finding new things, instead of being told what they were. Instead, I find them myself. I'm excited for the kids going out into the field and being able to apply what we learn in the textbook to the real world. You know, this is what scientists do. They don't just sit in a classroom. They actually go out and explore what's out there and try to solve actual problems. So now I get to have more hands-on experience with science. <laughs> Oftentimes I'm observing rocks or just a lot of observations and not necessarily testing levels of water, mixing chemicals. I'm expecting a new experience because, you know, I've never done anything like this before. Hope to find some microscopic organisms and other organisms living in the water, but I hope not to find any chemicals or anything that's messing up the water and the Living in I hope to find like something interesting or something that'll spark an idea. I'm looking forward to hearing about what comes of it and more importantly for students just to be more conscious of what we're doing with our water. Are we polluting? Are we taking care of our land not just for our sake but for you know for our little brothers, sisters and for those that don't even exist yet. We have a large responsibility and we want to put that responsibility on everyone, not just the adults, but the young people.